All right, um, before we continue, let's discuss two important buzzwords, render and re-render. So essentially when it comes to initial render, it happens the first time that the component tree is rendered to the DOM. Basically it happens when the application loads. So this. Now there's another use case when we toggle the component, but we haven't covered conditional rendering yet. So for now, don't worry about it. We'll come back to it once we actually cover conditional rendering. For now, just remember that essentially when our application loads, that's when the initial render of the component takes place. And this is also called mounting. So we mount the component, initial render happens. And yes, later we'll also learn how we can unmount the component. Now, when it comes to re-renders, they happen when the component's state or props change. So remember our previous example, what we were doing? We were changing the state value, correct? And as a result, we were re-rendering our component. And essentially, we can re-render component also when the parent element re-renders. Again, something that we'll run into quite a few times during tutorials. So once that happens, I'll just say, hey, remember we talked about it for now. Just remember, if you'll change the state or props or the parent re-renders, that's when essentially re-render takes place. Hopefully this is clear. And before we discuss the general rules of hooks, I just want to change it back to correct one. So it's not going to be pants. And I want to stress one more time that let's say if I'm going to come up with another state value, I'm going to say set name. If you don't want to import your state, and if you already have react, keep in mind, you'll have to import react here, then you can go this way. Now, this used to be more popular when we had to import React for every component. We don't have to do that anymore. So notice both of them effectively do the same thing. It's just previously we needed to import React. And that's why it was somewhat convenient just to avoid importing your state. But since we don't have to import React, I mean, I don't see the difference right now. You can either use use state or you can import React. Just keep in mind that both of them pretty much do the same thing. And with this in place, now let's talk about the general rules of hooks.